guys, it's Zaira and today we're going to talk about what communication breakdown is. So communication breakdown results when an intended message from a sender is not understood precisely by the receiver. It means that barriers to communication are present. And here are some barriers to communication. First is the physical barrier. The physical barrier, these are the natural and environmental conditions that are happening while the communication is ongoing. For example, people talking loudly, the video guests, the cars, all those horns and everything around us that are noises. These are physical barriers. Susan, did you know that the shape of the earth is of the spheroid? Oh, really? I thought it was flat. No, it's a big spheroid. Didn't you study earth and life science when you were in 11th grade? Of course, I studied earth and life science before. My teacher said it was flat. Waking up beside you, I'm alone the gun. I can't contain this anymore. I'm all yours. No control! Second is the psychological barrier. It is also called as the mental barrier because these are the social and physical issues of speaker towards communicating with others. Some examples are trauma, shyness, fear, and stage fright. Hey Nene! Have you visited the newly opened mall there? I bought two hoodies there. Look, po, it's just, you know how much is this? This is $100,000. Yeah, because it's Dior. And this is Chanel. Yeah, yeah, it's very expensive. Hey, are you going to talk to me? Look, po, they're very expensive. I bought two hoodies. But it's all mine, not yours. Next is the cultural barrier. Cultural barriers are encountered by people regarding their instinct values, beliefs, and traditions in conflict with others. Some examples are cultural beliefs, manners of dressing, and speaking. Hey, look at that girl. Is she a Muslim? Oh my god. Look at her outfit. It's so cheap. Let's not be friends with her, okay? Yeah, let's not be friends with her. Let's just go. Oh my god. That's so cheap. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Lastly, linguistic barriers. Linguistic barriers pertain to language and word meanings because words carry denotative and connotative meanings. They sometimes cause confusions and misunderstandings. Some examples are accent, dialect, jargon, slang, speech defects, or language impairments. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How long to make a baby? Make a baby? Yeah, how long to make a baby? Uh, nine months. Nine months to make a baby. What? It's so long. I'm not going to make a baby. Oh my god. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned a lot from this video. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So, see you again next time, guys. Goodbye.